Hi everyone, um, I wanted to make a quick video about a GPU error that I've been seeing quite a bit um, for quite a while now. Um, so this is for cycles. So quite a few people um, have issues every now and again with um, rendering on their graphics cards and sometimes they think uh, it's because their graphics card hasn't got enough memory or something. And um, there are times when that's true, but sometimes it's not that at all and it's just a silly windows error that uh, can be fixed quite easily so i'd recommend that everybody everybody who um, uses windows and who does gpu rendering that they at least try this and see what helps um, if they're having um, a hard time getting things to render so this this is an error that basically tells it, it's a setting on windows that tells the graphics card to stop like to reset um, if it can't finish a calculation after a certain amount, a certain amount of time, so I think on Windows uh, the default setting is really low. It's re um, it's kind of it's kind of silly. I think it's something like ten seconds or so. But I, I managed to recreate this error to show you what I mean. So here I have a very simple scene. It's got a couple of little animals here and a plane here. So it's got it's quite quite a bit of geometry, but nothing heavy. It should be able to render fine on my GPU. I'm using a GTX. 1070 um, with 8 gigs of VRAM so it should be it should render on this fine um, so let's try and render it and see what happens it seems seems to be standing still but it's um, it's probably rendering uh, it's probably loading in all the geometry now and boom it uh, doesn't keep rendering, it stops right there and it gives me a little pop-up here that says CUDA error at CUCTX create launch failed. So I don't know, that's that's quite quite cryptic. But if you check in the console here, you'll see basically the same thing. And okay, so if you've had this error before, here's how to fix it. First thing, press con uh, Windows R, so Windows key and R on the keyboard to open up this little dialog here, the run. And then type in here rig edit, no spaces. And uh, here is the registry editor. So we're going to change a couple of values in here, and that should take care of the problem for us. So um, you want to go to H key local machine, double click on that, uh, si um, system, go to current control set, control, and all the way down here to graphics drivers. Just double click on graphics drivers. Don't click on any of these um, that are like inside of it. Just click on graphics drivers. And then here on the right hand side, you'll see this big white space. You can right click here and press new. And then add in a new um, entry here. Uh, this one right here, D word 32 bit value. Click that and give it a name. Now you have to be really careful with the name, no spelling errors. So name it TDR delay and make sure you get the capital letters right as well no spaces make sure you get it spelled right that's pretty important press enter and then right click on it modify and then here is where we set the amount of time that Windows has to wait before resetting the graphics card so like I said by default it should, it's probably something like five seconds or ten seconds which is really far too far too low so uh, make sure decimal here is enabled because it's just a little bit easier and then I like to set mine to something like 60. That's what's been recommended to me by several people. Um, or you could even go a little bit more and go maybe like 120. This is in seconds. So if you have 120, it's going to wait two minutes before it actually um, resets the card. Now, you don't want to go too high. Otherwise, um, in a situation where you really want the graphics driver to reset, um, you'll have you'll have to wait for two minutes or whatever and besides a really high value might not be so good such a good idea so I like to go for 60 that's one minute and uh, you can always come back and set it to more or less however you want um, if you do set it to hexadecimal it's the same value but it's like a different way of writing it down so 3c is always is also the same as 60 seconds but I like to use decimal and then okay so that's that done now we're going to add another one here, new, D word, 32-bit value, same as last time, and we're going to name it T 
tdr ddi delay so almost the same as the previous one except it's got this little bit here ddi so make sure you got it spelled right um, no spaces no uh, and get the capital letters right as well and press enter and then right click on it modify and do the exact same thing here set it to uh, 60 in the decimal slot here 60 and then okay so now we've got these values set and it's it should tell windows to wait 60 seconds before actually resetting the driver for the graphics card so that at least that's how i understand it uh, it works so after you've done this you'll have to um, restart your computer so i'm going to exit this and i'm going to save my file and i'm quickly going to restart my computer and i'll be back in just a second okay so here i am back again and i've just restarted my computer and let's see if this works now so it's doing something here and something's happening and look at that it's starting to render um, so yeah that's how I solved this particular problem and this has really helped me a lot um, to render a lot more scenes uh, before I before I knew about this I uh, was also having quite a quite a few uh, problems with my graphics cards even my more powerful powerful cards like the GTX 1070 it's quite um, frustrating sometimes when you have a really powerful card but for some reason it just won't render a scene so as you can see it's rendering quite slowly here but at least it's rendering now a couple of disclaimers um, to recreate this error I actually had to use some uh, let me just stop this render here otherwise it'll lag my system so uh, to recreate this error I had to actually use some pretty extreme settings here so I used the branch branch path tracing here uh, and set it to square samples which basically means all, all the values here get squared so it's a really high value as you can see down here uh, and then I set the glossy value here to 5 and the double A render sample here to 5 as well and uh, this results in these numbers down here so everything here is pretty standard except for the glossy which is 625 which is the result of this here uh, and yeah this if you set pretty much any moderately heavy scene to these values and test it out um, it might crash your card if you're uh, using the default Windows setting for your uh, graphics card delay um, so yeah that's that's that uh, the reason you can't see the little uh, the little character here just his shadow is simply because I have him uh, on a different layer here so don't worry about that um, yeah I think that's everything uh, if you if anyone has questions just leave them in the comments to the video I will also link a, a sort of a little bit more detailed uh, article about this uh, in the description um, please send this video to anyone you know who might have uh, problems with uh, with their uh, GPU rendering on cycles maybe this will help them who knows um, so this won't fix all your GPU errors this will just fix this particular error hopefully um, thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions or problems or whatever thanks a lot cheers